All right, I'll take you through uh, setting up a courseware section in Edminum so you can deliver online content and quizzes and things like that. So we're logged into Edminum. Up here to Courseware Adamsville High School. And you end up here. And then we want to uh, manage our courses. And we're going to click this green button for add a new section. And then we're going to find the course that we want. So I want U.S. History. And there's an advanced U.S. History there. And then here's regular U.S. History. Uh, I'm going to go to Semester B. Select that. I'm going to name that course. And I want you, you need to be very descriptive in naming that course. So we're going to call this U.S. History Spring 2020. Third block. And then your last name. That would be helpful uh, for finding that and making sure kids are, are getting the right content. Uh, And then I'm selecting no end date on that because we don't know. And then instructors, I need to make sure that I am an instructor for this class. You would add, make sure you add yourself as an instructor if you're not already listed. And then we're going to click continue to students. And then the adding students, you just uh, type in the, start typing the student's name. Uh, so if we had uh, Reese Walker, uh, we could do Reese Walker, which is uh, 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 Walker. And I spelled it with Bella. Scroll down here till we find Miss Walker, Isabella Reese. And then. We can do uh, just a couple more students, Annalyn Harville, maybe. Eli. Here's one. Um, Elijah Lambert, 20, that's the senior. And then uh, we have Eli Lambert, that's a freshman. So we pick which one you have. So be careful of that. So you've added students. Uh, and we found those. We want to save our section. And then you'll be taken back to the Manage Courses page. I have several courses that I'm managing. I want to find the one that I just set up. You have to hit refresh to get that to show up. And... <laughs> History, there we go. U.S. History, one section. And there it is. Clicking that. And that takes me to that set of students that I've gotten there. And then I want to uh, customize what they have to do. So I'm going to click the curriculum button. And this is where you customize what your students will do on Edminum. Very easy thing. Uh, so we've got here uh, in the three dots, you get options. You get the lock, unlock, hide, unhide, and omit activities. I'm going to omit the orientation. Uh, most of our students are going to be able to uh, move right on through this. Uh, and then I want to find these things that I want happening. So I've got uh, need to cover the immigration in the late 1800s and I want them to work on that uh, exclusively. <coughs> so I'm going to hide the unit one on changing nation or and or omit that unit and then go down to the next unit on uh, and then only unhide or what I want them to do. So to click here and include that activity. So and then growth of cities, I want to include that as well. And then 
uh, cultural change. I want to include that. Okay. And then I can have the post test uh, if I wanted to. Uh, you can include that activity. It's a post test. The only things on that post test will be the things that are included, not the things that are omitted. Uh, so it's a dynamic post test that it creates. And then if you wanted to just hide uh, material that they uh, shouldn't do, you can use the hide option. Uh, if I don't want them to do it, I usually omit that, uh, which is it, they won't even see it at all. The hide, they have to, uh, they can still see it. They just have to go through a few steps to get there. So the omit activity is actually a little stronger. So that's usually what I use out of that. Once you've done that, you can uh, save those changes. And it shows those omitted activities and the things that they weren't done. We're done there. We're clicking that. Now, uh, getting grades back from students. When students uh, work through a module in Adminum, they work through a uh, studies portion and then a quiz in each little uh, sub lesson. And those quizzes can be locked if they fail it. They can unlock those on their own by going through the lesson again and it unlocks automatically for them, or you can manually unlock it yourself. If students are locked out of lessons, you'll see here in the middle, this will have a number underneath it, and you will see the student will have a lock uh, icon on uh, their, their row there. Uh, if you wanna look at grades, you can click grade book, and it will show you those lessons. Lessons that you've omitted will have a slash through them, there will be a grade here for those uh, lessons that they are to complete and the quiz grade that they made on those. Uh, and you can look at that, uh, you know, those grades for those students. Uh, there are reports that you can print. You can print, print out a, a grade book uh, in Excel format. You can print out a report card, uh, including the deactivated or, or dropped learners if you lose any during that. So all the reports are right there things that you can do with Adminum. Very easy to set up and very easy to run through and have your students doing that. Uh, if you got in here and you realized I forgot a student, it's easy to add students, uh, clicking that, and it's just gonna take you to the same place, uh, same kind of menu there to add students. Uh, and you can search uh, within Adamsville High School uh, to add those students to your to your roster and assign them that work. Uh, and that's adding students to Edminum and creating a section, getting it going.